Hi soapy friends, it's Steph from Micas and More. I'm making cold processed soap with Ancient Incense Fragrance Oil and Amazing Grace Fragrance Oil. I'm using Pink Carnation Mica, Shimmer Brown Mica, White Satin Mica, and I'm testing a Gold Brilliance Glitter. Let's make soap. I pour the lye water into the hard oils to use the heat transfer method. I'll stir some and use the stick blender to help it finish melting. I add my liquid oils and then stick blend a little more. This is one teaspoon of pink carnation mica in about three cups of soap. I was going for a light color to match the delicate fragrance of Amazing Grace, which I added to this portion. I also added the fragrance oil to the Shimmer Brown. All of the pink carnation goes into the mold first. I mix white satin mica with a little oil and spread it over the pink for a mica oil outline swirl. Then all of the shimmer brown goes on, followed by more white satin mica in oil. I add the ancient incense fragrance oil to the remaining soap and I will leave it uncolored. It will turn a medium tan due to the vanillin and I want to get a good idea of what that will look like. Now time for a hanger swirl with my gear tie. I'll add the remaining soap on top and then some Gold Brilliance Glitter in oil. It's a synthetic mica with a large particle size which works great as an earth-friendly glitter. I sculpt the top with a spoon using it to push the soap evenly to the middle when I realize it was too high on one side. More Gold Brilliance Glitter goes on top dry. And then some in oil because I wanted extra sparkle. One last look before I put this one to bed. Now I'll put the mold holder over the top to brace the sides. I'll put the soap in a box and under a blanket for about 24 hours. And here's the soap the day that I cut it. And then after a few weeks of curing,
For more info on supplies, you can join Steph's Micahs and More on Facebook or email me at micahsandmore at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.